As you can imagine, in St. Bernard Parish, they are dreading this severe weather more than anyone else after Araby was devastated by a deadly tornado just last week. And Gina, you know, the cleanup is ongoing there. And now tonight's storms, it threatens to make matters worse. WDSU's Morgan Lentis is live in Araby with what is being done to prepare. Morgan? Well, ladies, so many of the people I talked to today told me they are praying for the best, but after what happened last week, they know that's not guaranteed. Many hands make quick work, especially after a tornado. This group of volunteers came from across the country to help people like Christy Reggio recover. No porch on the house, everything's gone. My vehicle was over here, it was across the street. She lost a roof in Ida and again last Tuesday night. And now I got to worry about being slammed again. Her main concern now is flying debris from this pile across the street. I mean, we've bought it up the windows to salvage what windows we have and I mean, you got to pray for the best. That's it. Parish officials say they are equally concerned. It's not something that we can get in front of. You know, we did the best that we could to secure um, all of the all of the things that we knew we had a chance to make safer, you know, and then there are just a lot of things that we know are going to we're going to have some some cleanup tomorrow. Something Councilman Gillis McCloskey says a team of volunteers are ready to do. They've been meeting since the storm to make sure everyone is on the same page. These are not just, you know, people showing up that don't know, don't have a clue on how to help, right? They, they already have a plan. And for some, part of that plan is never underestimating Mother Nature again. We've never been hit by one, and in the past, it doesn't even mean nothing to me. People, you know, oh, tornado, 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 and it's just like another day. Now, yeah, we're scared. All right, so if you are looking for a way to help the people most impacted by last week's tornado, you can visit the website on your screen. We've also put a link on WDSU.com and parish officials, they tell me they promise really that they are going to get that money to the people who need it most. Now we want to toss things over to my colleague Shay O'Connor, who's live at a shelter that St. Bernard Parish officials just opened up this afternoon. Shay.